recording for Black U TV in Jonestown in Jungle. Could you please state your name, please? Oh, my name is Keith White. Do you have an alias? Creamy Corner. So tell me, how old are you, please? Well, I'm Creamy. 55. Where did you grow up? Grew up in Jonestown. Do you have any brothers and sisters? And how much brothers and sisters do you have? I have six brothers and four sisters. Tell me about Creamy. Who is he? Well, Creamy is a youth who uh, grew up in a Jonestown. And so, born come to my father and mother with nothing at all. I just broke out and just start rob people. The first time I rob somebody, uh, like I said, I sell a star and the gamble and lose, uh, lose some money. I mean, I stop light and see a lady come up, I drive a car and grab a, grab a car chain. I run down in a gully and get to it. Who did you grow up with? I grew up with my friend and we have a, a farmer who was named $20 Bill. Why was he called $20 Bill? Uh, the first twenty dollar was the biggest money in Jamaica, late nineties and early eighties. Tell me more about your recruit. I know look at robbery and them thing they were going with and police them. I Len Len kill off all of the youth them. Len, who is Len? A bad man police. Uh, what's the difference between a normal police and a bad man police? Bad man police and him come for him and come kill him and uh, spear you. Have you yourself had any bad man police come after you? He come to me about me, he take care of myself. I mean, I come to just take care of myself. So tell me, have you been to prison before? We go to prison for no. a gun. I charge a gun and get it. I go rob somebody and get it. We charge the legal position of fire and get 10 years for the gun. And what prison was that? Where was that? GP. So how long did you serve? I was six years and eight months, but a man did kill my brother and I end up, I had my fight and I end up after kill him in a prison. While you was in prison, someone killed your brother? Yeah, somebody killed my brother at Spanish Town prison. And you was in prison with him at the same time I mean, when that happened? He made a prison, a GP prison. So how did you feel about that? He feel vexed like I'm better than a prison and I him usually look out for me. When my brother did a prison, I was at the start of Spanish Town. Around six of them did dead at Spanish Town prison. For a riot to have happened, because your brother had passed away, your brother must have been somebody. Yeah, man, he was one of big man at Spanish Town prison. His name Dos. Y your brother's name was Dos? Yeah, but I know he's a man who uh, sell weed up, sell prison weed, he did sell weed up prison. The man who uh, killed my brother, him trying to come as GP. And that's where the prison that you said you was in, right? Yeah, and him tell the super fair him killed my brother. He told the superintendent in the prison that he killed your brother? Yeah, and the man who bring him back, come tell me, say, the man who killed my brother just come in I prefer. So you now happen to be in the same prison as the person that killed your brother? Yeah, me and him in the same prison. Come like fuel to fire. How did that last? What's the outcome of that? Man, my fight, I end up killing me in a prison and charge the prison murder and get a life sentence. You see tears coming from your eyes, so you're obviously emotional about what's happened. So I want you to explain something to me right now. Because looking at you right now, you look simple. And as you know, enough man in Jamaica, they may look simple, but they not come simple. They not easy. When we look at you now, you tell me, say, you kill a man in prison that kill your brother. I don't see that in you. So Tell me about that. I didn't know you were capable of something like that. Well, I said, two of them killed me better. Me. I said, they killed me better prison for so me, so I can't kill him back at prison, so I prison him kill me better. So basically, because you killed your brother in prison, you just thought it's fair that you killed him back in prison as well? Yeah, because he would have killed me the same way. Because he killed me better at Spanish Town prison, so he would have killed me at GP if he didn't get the chance. How did he kill your brother? Stab him with a knife. How long did you get for that? I got a life sentence for the prison murder. Ten years before parole. In all, 22 years I do a prison. Even though you and your brother are very much, yes, brothers, you're very much different. He wasn't similar. When you look at you, you are a smiley face, you are a happy guy, and he was the complete opposite. Tell me about him. Brother, he bring me in a badness. He bring in a badness? Yeah, man. And he's a man who ever ask you, but he's a man who ever smile still. I was in a badness, but the man who ever asked you, enough people not to like him, because the man who ever asked you and not to talk to people. I don't believe in killing a man without a cast. If a man does something fair, 
So there are different things that, uh -huh. but otherwise still, I don't see it right to kill a man without a car. I guess it would be ridiculous to say you don't have no remorse or no regret for that, obviously, right? You know, I'm better feel good and angry. Right, the time that you spent in prison, did it have mentally, did it have any effect on you? Yeah, what I'm do, I get up every day and play ball at day time. Yeah. Play ball at day time and relax my mind and listen to music and just get fit. So these are the things that you did to Stay focused. Yeah. What was the first crime that you said that you did? First crime, I went to the grab a chain, grab a chain and uh, stop light. And you go away for that? Mm, get away with it. So tell me something, did I make that adrenaline run faster, made you much more brazen to do more offences, or did you stop and think that the person has lost their chain, I should never have done it? You know, the youth that I grew up with and two me the young when I grew up as a way there. I grew up as a crime doer. You didn't have much friends or people wasn't, wasn't really that like, um, drawn to you because you're a crime doer? We yeah, may have no friends, we have no crime doer still, but majority of it was crime doer. I found the $20 bill crew. So how much people was inside that crew? Around 15 of Where are the 15 of you now? Where's everybody now? We yeah, have five, I'm alone as survivor out of the crew. You're the only survivor out of 15? Me. Yeah. The lifestyle that you all chose, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a prosperous one. Because like you say, you're the only one left out of 15. We're not prosperous. Car crime up here. If you could do it all again, would you still commit crime? Would you still rub chains and all those kind of things? No, I wouldn't do them things there again. I'm also going to rob people still now. But I'm, when I grab the chain, I was young them time still. How was it? Who was you? Was you a worker? Was you a defender? Was you a leader? I did a prison and then broke up me and my foot and said me a young leader. Say that again to me, please. I did a prison and then I found a fence, built a fence and I popped down the fence and super car away. And say the fence have to go up. And from that two man go back and pop down the fence. And uh, them farm a riot squad. And I see six squad I come on my cell door and tell them to come out on my cell door. And them beat me from my head to my toe. The waters beat you from your head to your toe? He broke my hand and my foot, my right hand and my right foot broke. Again, to how old are you again? 55. So that will put you back in the years and the generation, the days of Jim Brown. Did you know that guy? Yeah. Who is Jim Brown? Tell me about the Jim, Jim Brown. Jim Brown is a man who him run the Valley Garden. So you, you and him were good friends? Me yeah, and him were good friends in prison. Tell me about Jim Brown, because I, I understand that he passed away in prison. Prison, I know him still. But I was a barber dover, a team barber dover. So every time me, me I walk with the barber dover, he's a man who always admire me. Where you get the barber dover from? In a prison, I get him. Did you leave Jim Brown in prison? How did it go? You find out uh, Jim Brown's son is dead uh, when I sat there. In a weekend still. Uh, and like say, his son is buried by his son there. And I let, let him the barber over. And him say, to his son I bury him, he said, I can't give him a night off I barber over. And I give him back the barber over. Me there over H not or in there F not. Oh, that's, that's the name of the, the blocks in the prison? Yeah. But at the same time, we have fire, fire. And me bust out my eyes. I have a weightlifting thing in you know, my cell. Mm. Use it and burst out, burst out a grill and come out. Let me get this right. You beat out this, a window in a the grill, cell? A grill? A grill yeah. In the cell? Yeah. And escape from the cell? Yeah, and come out, but I still the on the block. What were you saying about the fire now? We yeah, a big fire and them say, Jim Brown are burned up in the cell. Let me get this right, Creamy, you were there when, when the fire actually, okay, from what I understand now from you, that it was a fire that caused Jim Brown to lose his life? Yeah. W explain that to me. Me, the upper H not, I the upper F not. I'm going to hear fire, 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 fire in a Jim Brown cell. So wasn't there no waters around or no one there to open his cell door to help no him one, out? No one never did that at that time. Eh? Well, how far away from him was you? I mean, go by the next water. Could you see the fire? No, I could not see smoke. That must have felt very terrible for you knowing that your friend is, you know, is in a cell, locked up fire, calling fire, and can't come out, and you can't come out to help him either. No, so, man. 
I, see, I can see and understand why the emotion is reaching you. I've observed and noticed that you also have a finger missing. Yeah, fine story. I'm going to lose it. Would, um, would you mind, just for the camera so they can see, you lose that finger for, uh, in Spanish Town? Mm, how Spanish Town prison. Spanish Town prison. How did you lose that finger? The fine old fair. It is um, a mental thing I go on. Fine said, they must fight, they must fight on spiritual while in that prison. And the blower, blower come to me and I don't know where it's blower. I don't know how the blower come. So it was a gang fight, a group of guys that was beating you, I don't understand. How did you manage to lose the finger? Like I said, me in a cell, some other come to me. Some other come. Come to lock, lock, lock me up and so. And me going in a cell, I never have a weightlifting thing. Every time them hold up on the grill, me beat it, beat it, that them can't whoop me. But me love some type of my finger still. So when beat it, come like the... The blood circulating, I look a finger. So, so while you was beating the window with the with the um with the weight, your your finger came off. No, no, came off. A doctor, I'm gonna go cut it off. Basically, you was beating the window and you damaged the finger, and you had to go to the doctors and have them get it cut, cut off. Yeah. How did you feel about that? I mean, I feel, I not feel good for losing my finger, but I know I just saw it go still. I lose my finger, I lose my life. I've, I've, I've observed throughout the interview, um, Creamy, that you've been very, you're very emotional about the things that we're discussing. Um, I'm not sure whether they are just from the fact that you've lost your friends and you've lost your brothers, or is it because of the lifestyle that you're living and you now regret that lifestyle? What are the tears for? What are the emotions for? Explain, please. My friends, I don't know about me. I'm never have Crying visor. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you seem to have been through an awful lot. So therefore, I think you have a lot to basically um, tell the people. How do you feel? Like now, the fact that now you're 55 years old and you look back now, would you do anything any differently from how you did before? What would you do differently? The only thing I do different, I be of myself and no wrong for right. Why? I'm um, going through a rough time and I know what is prison. So I know enough to do nothing that's wrong for go there. To go back there. Gr growing up, growing up, did you find it easy to be cruel and, and harder to be nice? Believe a good over evil still. So mm -hmm. believe in cool and uh, believe in cool. What did you come to see your, your, your mother and father doing when you was born, when you were growing up? What did you come to see them doing? My mother fell down to my father work at camp. Okay, so didn't, didn't, didn't you want to, to, to be like him, to follow him? And yeah. to follow his footsteps? No, I never want to follow his footsteps because I grew up and couldn't see me nothing at all. While you was in prison, was there any rehabilitation thing that was set in program that was set for you to come out to being a better person instead of coming back to the badness? No rehabilitation on their prison. Yeah, for rehabilitate yourself. Well, I know rehabilitate you. For, for someone like yourself has been through so much years of badness and you're fortunate to be alive right now, you're very lucky to be alive right now. For it all, do you think badness really pays? No, more I said no, it no pay because I reach a part in a badness and she said it no pay. It's a bad mind thing still. A bad mind thing? So, so basically, your own friends then would turn against you. Yeah, a lot of part I hear nothing about me. Have you have you had any personal friends that you thought were so-called friends that was with you in the badness and turned against you? No, me not have no friends that really. What about your family? Is everybody still around? Is he still supporting you? Did they support you while you was in prison? Me and my family, my sister, them and brother, them and left me out. Everyone still supports you? Yeah. Tell me something, all right? Like I said, everyone that's watching you right now, what good advice can you really give them for them to be a better person? For someone like yourself that has been through so much, you've been around um, Jim Brown and many other gangsters, no well-known gangsters. A lot of the youths want to be like Jim Brown, want to be like you, want to be a gangster, and now you're at your age, you're saying you wish you didn't. 
So what advice would you give to them? Well, I tell them to stay out of badness and let it go. Why? Because it's not fair. Explain, tell me more. Because it's on the year who badness fear. The prison is cemetery. Oh, say that again. Explain that to me one more time again, please. Badness fear. The prison is cemetery. Thank you very much for this interview for Black Q TV. Thank <laughs> you.